Hello. Good afternoon. Welcome to Mike's Cooking Studio. I'm Mike. Here we are in my cooking studio, my one little bedroom apartment uh, in the kitchen area. I call my I call my cooking studio. Today we are cooking in the slow cooker. It's from a book that I have, um, Slow Cooker Companion. It's called Amazing, Most Amazing Pork Chops, and they are. I've made it a few times. It's very simple, five ingredients. Uh, today is Sunday, June 30th. The month went by fast. Tomorrow's the first. And uh, shout out to all my subscribers. I have, uh, I think I'm up to 349. And uh, thank you very much, all my, all my old and new subscribers. Like I said, it's Sunday, June 30th. 2024, it is 1.56 p.m. here on the East Coast and uh, on Cape Cod in Falmouth, Mass. It's uh, 73 overcast. There might be some thunderstorms later. And uh, there's already a hurricane out in the Atlantic, Barrow. I think it's strengthening, so nobody knows where it's going for sure right yet. So, like I said, I'm I'm cooking in the in the slow cooker. One one thing I like to do to kind of make the recipe my own. Now it's not called for. Now it's pork chops. I'm browning the pork chops in my skillet. I've already seasoned them. I have like six bone in. They're not thick. Oh, they are. They are. I was going to do boneless one here. I think the flavor adds, the bone adds to the flavor. Now, I'm just browning these, but the browning adds to the flavor too. It's not necessary, you can just dump everything in. Now, in this bowl, in this bowl I mixed up earlier, I have all the sauce. It's um, a packet of pork gravy. A packet of pork gravy. A can of uh, cream of chicken soup. Uh, A packet of pork gravy, a can of cream of chicken soup, a can of a can of chicken broth, and and some onion soup. A pot, packet of onion soup mix, and that's about it. All mixed up in that. I'll pour that over the pork chop. So like I said, I'm just going to, I've made this like three or four times, not always over here in this new, I may have, I may have a video, so, or maybe not, if I find it, I'll post it, I'll definitely post the recipe like I always do, and, uh, I know the crock and girls were not together anymore for whatever reason, or if they are, I don't know how to find them. Um, they have a video still on their YouTube channel, like, oh, eight years ago, maybe more. I'll post that video. We'll go through it step by step. Now, 
it sends it on low for to cook on low for six to eight hours. I will probably I will probably stand it on high for about an hour. Like my mother said, we'll be eating like blue bloods. My mother would always say. Now I season these a little with uh, salt and pepper and my new Danos. I know you've all seen Danos. Yum yum, get you some. This is his original. Going over to the crock pot with this one. But like I always say, unplug the unplug the probe from the wall outlet first before you start handling the probe itself. You're going to have a hot can. I haven't had that happen yet. Just a warning. Just a warning. Just a warning. Okay, we're going to fly over. So this is the gravy I made. I'll go through the review again. A can of chicken, a can of chicken, a can of chicken broth, or a cup and a half. I just used the whole can because it was, oh well. Um, a can of chicken, cream of chicken, cream of chicken soup, a pouch of uh, onion soup, and a pouch of pork gravy. And I will make some rice to go with it, probably brown rice in my rice cooker, and maybe a salad, and, and I have some applesauce. Applesauce. Pour, chop some applesauce. So I'm going to pour this over, and you know what's coming. Oh, yes. Oh yes, we we get the lid on the crock pot. This is, is a crock pot brand, not just a, any brand of soaker. It is a crock pot. Now my mother gave me one. It was pretty no no frills. It wasn't digital and everything. It was round. It was nice. Made me many meals. Many, many, many meals. Like I said, I'm going to start this on high, high, don't start. Mm. 
and then come down. So we're off. And you know what's coming. We're off like a thunderous herd of turtles. Most amazing pork chop ever. See the book? Now it usually tells you in the book, in the recipe, a lot of the recipes in the book are submitted by other people. Or they're written by Jenna, the writers of the book. That hurt. That hit my eye. The phone. <clears throat> Thank you. So, Mr. Good Looking is cooking. Rada. Yes, he is. Yes, Mr. Good Looking is cooking. Yes, he did show up today. That hurt. That hurt. That was a blooper. Yeah, so a lot of these recipes are submitted by other, like the one before, like the one on the page I just turned to, um, creamy apricot chicken, which sounds really good. Michelle Navoni, golden mushroom chicken, which I've made. Mary Lou Child, yes. Southwest lasagna, Linda Howell. Not this one. The page over. Sister-in-law is from, from Jenny's sister-in-law. From Nicole's Kitchen Pork Chop and Rice Castle, which I've made before. So some of them from the two girls. I'm sure they're people that they know. Easy Pork Chops with Tomato and Garlic. I made that one. Mexican pork roast, I haven't done that one. This cheddar vegetable sausage casserole, which I've made quite a few times. Michelle Mesher, that's a good one. Mama's twist on Asian pork. Marine Girardi, Girardin. Pork chalupas, Teresa Fox. Sausage and peppers, Georgette Vaneman. Easy pork chops, really easy. Stephanie Baker. Red beans and rice, I gotta try that one. Annette Wolverton. I just love doing Crock pot, my crock of ribs. That's an easy one. Maggie Cherry. And Maggie Chero. Crock and Girls Pizza. That sounds good. Gay sauce, crock and lasagna. Big ziti.
So there you have it. Most amazing pork chops in the slow cooker. Should be done about seven. I'll be falling apart. Bone be falling out of it. So come on back. And take care. Have a good Sunday. And I uh, love you. Bye. One eternity later. Hello. Yes. One whole eternity later. <laughs> um, welcome back to Mike's Cooking Studio. I'm Mike. It is late, like I said, because it's been in the pork. The pork chops are done. So, like my, like I've always said, my mother would say, my late mother would be eating like blue blood, blue bloods. It is nine twenty-four p.m. and uh, the chops are done. Well, they got. 12 minutes to go, but they're done. I checked them. They were probably done about an hour ago. I made some brown rice. Oh, shout out to all my regulars. We're all done here. Come down off my knee. This is the second part, as you know. A shot of the crock pot. Been a good day. Been napping a lot. Shout out to Robin. My friend, thank you very much. So I made some brown rice. I like brown, I prefer, I prefer brown rice over white rice. I was going to put some vegetables in it, but I decided to just to go green beans out of the can. Don't judge. They were there. Sometimes I mix green beans, not green beans. Sometimes I mix vegetables in with the rice. So, anyway, I can dig out a pork chop. Falling off the bone, and the bones falling out of them. They're not little bones, so uh, no. There's a couple, some sauce. Now I could have did it like a little slurry and thickened up this gravy. I have some applesauce out of the can. Oh yeah, don't fall off. Delicious.
Oh, that's really good, folks. Tasty. All that gravy. You got to try this one. I'll post the recipe like I always do. And uh, thanks for watching. And uh, I don't know if this second half is always going to be a short video. Now, I'm not sure if I'll be back during the week. I might be. Well, it depends. You know, rent day is uh, in a couple of days and beginning of the month tomorrow. And it went by fast. Oh, the end of July. So it'll be over soon. Christmas in July. Yes. On Hallmark, yes. Where do the seasons go? They just melt away, fly away. So have a good night. Have a good uh, Sunday night. I love you all. Shout out to all my subscribers. And I'll see you soon. And uh, Mr. Good Looking is uh, going to be eating here in a minute. Yes, in a minute. They've already been eating, but uh, have a good night, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Thank you for watching. Bye.